and welcome to this week's BNZ World Report. I am your host, Angela Ray, where we will discuss global topics and events from around the world. Our first story comes to us from usatoday.com, and President Obama says he won't put an emphasis on blacks' troubles. Well, President Obama said last week that it would be wrong for him to focus on troubles facing black Americans in the recession, rejecting criticism from the Congressional Black Caucus that the government is ignoring the economic plight for minorities. Instead, Mr. Obama said that he agrees with some of the caucus's concerns, such as making sure black-owned small businesses have access to credit. But Mr. Obama also added that the best way to get the economic situation better for black Americans is to get it better for all Americans. And again, that story comes to us from usatoday.com. All right, our next story comes to us from allafrica.com. The first black American university opens an ICT center in Abuja. So, one of the oldest black American private universities in the Southeast is located in Raleigh, North Carolina, that being Shaw University. They recently opened an information center in Abuja. Now, the center is adding value Value to a growing status of Nigeria's information technology, uh, their growing information technology center, and it raises young and intelligent people who are anxious for developing themselves in the field of ICT. Now, Jay, have you ever heard of people called Black Americans? I thought it was African Americans or Blacks. I thought it was African Americans too. Maybe it's just because that's a story. Uh, from the website allafrica.com that they're differentiating us from Africans who really come from directly from the motherland. Maybe so. Maybe so. All right. Our next story comes to us from blackenterprise.com and it reads avoid holiday party snafus. So we're getting some advice from the style expert, Mr. Fonsworth Bentley, who gives us some tips on how to make sure you stay cool during the office holiday party. So, of course, we know the dues are to dress appropriately and come ready for some great office conversation. However, what are some of the don'ts? Well, you want to make sure that you don't consume too much alcohol, that you don't take uh, more than two things off the buffet table at a time. I don't know why that is. You don't have to go back and forth, but maybe that's why I haven't been invited to too many office parties. And the last one, don't bombard your boss or supervisor with forced conversation, especially if you see a line of your coworkers ready to see the boss. So you know those holiday parties are coming up and you want to make sure that you uh, dress appropriately and avoid those snafus. Right now, we're going to go to Team Brand News for this special story. Is this your girl Shamika, founder of the Atlanta Hip Hop Film Festival? Right now, we're getting ready for the awards show. We're honoring trailblazers like the original cast of House Party, Out of Wild, Master P, Nick Cannon, and so on and so forth. We got everybody here for, oh, for acting. For acting. acting. Hey man, you smell something? I smell something. Man, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely smelling something, I'm man. I'm definitely smelling something. You know what I smell? I, I smell, smell welcome! Amen! Hey, hey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Team Brand News. Of course, 
you can see everything that Team Brand News does, particularly in our meetings, and actually listen in and participate by following us on MySpace. Now, our final story comes to us from the website naturalnews.com. Cancer researchers announced breakthroughs in natural prostate cancer prevention and treatment. Now, the American Association for Cancer Research, or the AACR, is one of the world's oldest and largest organizations dedicated to advancing cancer research. Well, they recently had a meeting in Houston and they found some exciting news. According to German researchers, they have found that hops could play a role in preventing prostate cancer. Now, what are hops? You may know hops because they are part of the flavoring agent in beer, but a lot of hops have been used in natural traditional herbal medicine for some years. So I don't know if actually drinking beer is gonna help prevent prostate cancer, but I'm sure that this research is gonna be continuing to develop. And that's it for this week's BNZ World Report. For more news that you can use 24 hours a day, please be sure to visit the website at brandnews.com. And hey, for all of you college students out there, if you have news stories for your campus, press releases, or great events that are coming up, please be sure to let us know and visit the extra extra section of the Brand News website. We hope that you have a very Merry Christmas. Jay, what is, what is Santa Claus bringing you? I don't know. I hope it's money. Hope is money? Yes. Yeah, I could use a new coach bag myself. Pizza's here, Okay, not again. <laughs>